Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Passion. Welcome to Home Garden and Passion. Today I'm going to show you how to do a chain stitch and put beads with it. And I have done this video previously but um, there was some problem with the light. So uh, I think my viewers couldn't see it. So I'm going to redo it. So to do it, you just um, take a fabric. And the final video I'm going to do, which I will create a purse and which is black color actually, and then I'm doing the design in the black and this um, gold beads, but I'm showing it to you in this pink color so it will be easy to understand. Now, I have drawn a line as you see, I traced a line so you know how to follow along, and you need your frame, so put the frame one part at the bottom and the other part goes tightly on the top make sure your frame is very tight in the fabric so after you tighten the frame make sure it's very tight the tighter it is the better it is so now it's very tight and I have this yarn. I'm sewing it with the yarn because then it's easy to see. And you put a knot on the end. And you go through from the bottom. Very close to the frame. Like this. Now we're doing coming like this and try to follow along this line and pick up little bit of the fabric and pull now this thread you can keep it to the left side or right side but you choose one side and stick with it so I'm keeping it at the left side now you see over here you see there is a little space the hole and this hole where I'm going to put my bead. First I will do the chain and then I will use another needle to put the bead. So pick up a little bit of the fabric and pull it out. Again keep the thread in the left side and you created a hole in the middle. You use that hole to put your bead. Uh, again, I will pull it. So like this, I will continue throughout the entire line. This is very easy stitch once you get the hang of it and you know your thread to keep it in one side either you choose left or right I'm keeping here at the right left side so you see we have created the chains and each chain has a hole in the middle and this hole I'm going to use to put my bead now this So we'll do a couple of more and then I'll show you how to do the bead. So don't pull it too tight. We want to leave it loose, not too tight. So you continue doing like this and uh, where it ends you just take your needle and go from the top like this and that's where you end it. Once you end it then you go on the back and 
give a knot. Give a nice knot. Like this. So use a nice knot for this. Now the second step is the putting the bead. For that also make sure your frame is very tight. After you check the frame to make sure it's very tight. Now you take your needle and thread. Now for this I'm using thin thread and a thin needle. You have to use kind of needle which will pass through the beads. Now with this you come up from the bottom exactly the same way but you come out in the middle of this hole see this hole you come out in the middle of this hole in this hole it came out now you pick up a bead and you put it through now you pull out your thread now you tied this bead both the sides so this going in left side once coming out now I'm going to go in through this bed from underneath you feel it and you go through the same hole see came out through the same hole of the bead now I'm going to go in on the right side now this will secure the bead very tightly in the middle of this chain stitch so you see the bead sitting nicely in the middle of the chain stitch now I'm going to go again to the next one go to the middle of the next hole and then I get my bead and put it like this and then come out through the hole now I'm going to the left side of this bead now I'm going to go through inside again inside the bead from the bottom you come out through the hole of the bead you have to feel it a little bit Put, set the bead like this you feel it and come out through the hole like this hole this is coming out through the hole of the bead again now once I come out through the hole I go to the right side down and from the bottom you pull the thread properly so it doesn't bunch up so you see it's very easy again see here you cannot see anything again what do you need to do from the bottom you come out through this middle of the hole there's a hole in the chain stitch in the middle you come out through the middle of the hole now you take your bead and put it in the needle now you come out straight once you come out straight then you go down again on the left side Pull all your threads. Now you go again inside the bead. You straighten your bead. Or you can go like this and go inside the bead and go down only purpose of this to make sure you secure your bead now this bead is secured some might stand up some might go in the side the bead is secure now we're going to go to this hole this middle hole of the chain stitch now we pass through another bead come out once you come out then 
you are going next to it in the left side and if you can hold your bead that will be great while you are pulling it pulling the thread so now you pull your thread and straighten it now you hold your bead and feel it and come out through the bead hole from the bottom again now you go to the right side so you see how I secure the bead in the middle of the chain stitch now here you see you can see the middle section opening I come out through the middle section opening and now I put my bead in the needle come out through the hole now I go on the left side next to the bead and go down and while in the process I can hold the bead like this while I pull the thread from the bottom little bit tricky but you get used to it as you do more now come out through the bead hole again and then go to the right side now whole purpose of this two times one time left one time right and coming from the middle twice first one time you take the bead and the second time you go through the left third time you come out through the bead again and the fourth time you go to the right all purpose is to secure the bead in the middle now this bead is not gonna fall off ever now again I'm coming through this whole middle center of the chain stitch now I got my bead and I put it through the needle so this is the first now the second step is going down to the left third step is going coming out through the bead hole again this is the third step now the fourth step is going down through the right side that's the fourth four steps in this and now the bead is secure now I come out through this chain stitch in the middle that's my first I get my bead and put it through this is the first now hold on to the bead and go to the next that's the left side down that's the second step now third step is coming out through the bead again that's the third step fourth step is going to the right side So if you didn't understand this, let me know, I will do it again. And this is the process I'm going to use to create my New Year's Eve clutch. And that one is going to be the design uh, with this black thread on a black fabric. So that's why I'm doing it in the pink to show you. Uh, because black thread with the black fabric will be hard to learn. So now this is the last one, see coming through the middle, put your bead, I think I lost it, put your bead through it, hold on to the bead while you pull and then go to the left and then go through the center of the bead hole. and go to the right so there is your first initial the chain stitch and use that center hole to put the bead so this chain stitch with the bead and this is the same technique I'm going to use to make New Year's Eve clutch and it's going to be on a black fabric with a black thread and beads
and sequins as well so I showed you in the pink fabric so you can understand and then I'm going to do the video about the clutch I hope you understood this one if you didn't let me know I will try again so this was your chain stitch with bead in the center thank you so much for watching this is melody from home garden and fashion please don't forget to like and subscribe and do go to my facebook fan page and give me a like there thank you i'll come up with many more videos this one is a little variation i did which half of this chain stitch with the bead and half of this in the middle of chain stitch i added another yarn which is gold color looking so I did this one I did a running stitch in the middle this is another variation that you could do beside the beads and the, with this variation you can add long beads just the way I have added this another thread you can add long beads okay, thank you have a great day bye bye